Okay, let's take it to stupid levels today. I just spent the last few minutes merging everything I could together and upgrading myself so that I could unlock an RPG for an explosive rocket. We need more explosives along with my already ridiculous damage. We're hitting for $1,000 and we're shooting butterflies. They can still hurt me, of course, but that's going to get harder and harder to do. Lightning shower on a random target area. Yes, that also sounds helpful. 1,000 damage. Even the lightning is hitting for 845. I feel like we're going to be all right today. But we'll see. I don't really know what enemies to expect and I'm really not very quick. So that damage is kind of important already because I'm already getting a little bit swarmed. We'll go ahead and pick up the crate full of stuff. Summon two tops at circle you stops bullets. I think that's going to be necessary just to keep me alive. We survived one minute. Adds one damage. Adds damage, not one damage. I don't really know how much we're doing overall, but it's probably a lot. It's enough to melt these guys. We're gonna find more better items. Killing these just feels right somehow. I don't know what they've done to design them that way, but they feel like they're supposed to be murdered. I understand that the dissolving force field is very important, so we're gonna have one of those and it's gonna get pretty big itself. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. It's a little bit hard to get close to enemies right now. They tend to die before we get there. 640 if I saw that. 640 damage of evaporating power. What's not to like? Ooh, the first boss thing. Okay, it touched our force field and melted. Lucky train. We get one free upgrade to... No, we get several free upgrades. Our lightning bolt, our force field, and our main weapon. So we get damage, we get area size and damage, and we add damage plus an extra lightning bolt. I was just thinking we needed more lightning. Uh, we're gonna get the type B drone. Because I understand if I combine it with a type A drone, we get some kind of superpower. And we need more superpowers. We're obviously not strong enough yet. It's gonna be a good day. I can already tell. Okay, here come the butterflies. These are quicker at least, so <laughs> get force fielded. Bullet flight speed plus 10%. That evolves with a drill. The magnet, mm, the magnet goes with the boomerang. Yeah, that might be fun because then we can hoover and loot from further. Okay, the energy cube uh, goes with my lightning bolt, so that's going to evolve eventually. Plus that's just faster attacks. The cooldown is minus 8%. Although we did lose some health. I don't think we're supposed to stand in the purple stuff. Yeah, when you kill bu butterflies, that's where the purple stuff comes from. We could just stand here then because they can't reach me. I do have enough HP probably to walk through it anyway, so either way, I'm really not concerned. The sport shoe gives me movement, and that can to the soccer ball. I don't have the soccer ball, but we do need another 10% attack. Coming up in the 5 minute mark, so we'll see what we're up against then. Uh, we're also going to get the HE fuel, because that combines with my rocket to eventually get the ultimate uh, evolution thing. And that's definitely the kind of thing we need today. Boss assault. All right, where's the boss? Let's assault him. This is one of those days when he's hearing the boss music. Come here, you. Oh, you hurt pretty bad when I touch you, but I absolutely melted you. I honestly thought I would kill it quicker. I'm not even as strong as I thought I was, so we need to do something about that. I'll take a free magnet upgrade. Sure, I will. We picked up some meat and we get all of that stuff. Easy peasy for killing the boss. Up all ammo and weapon range plus 20%. Yes. Now I have to try even less hard. No, they're getting a little tougher though. I can feel it now. Uh, I'm going to need the Exo Bracer to combine with my swirling things. I'm not really sure what it does, but I'll take it. I guess my range too affects my force field, so that's a good one to upgrade. I could just be an evaporator full time. All attack cooldown, minus another 8%, so things are even quicker attacking now. I'm just going to hang out for a minute and enjoy the scenery and let all the loot pile up out there. Ooh, look at all the zombies now. The rocket didn't one-shot them, which is interesting. Okay, yep, they're starting to get stronger now, so I'm going to have to upgrade more things for sure. Because my rockets can't kill things one hit, so we'll get the upgraded rockets soon enough, though. There's a level up. Attack plus 20%. Yes. Just generally 10% more damage for everything. Very important. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with how strong the enemies get this quickly. Uh, adds area size and damage to my evaporator. Yes. There we go. Now it's getting bigger. Come here, everyone. Oh, they can survive in it for just a second, but the weaker thing sure can't. All right, let's add damage to my uh, main weapon. Now it's doing 2,000. It's definitely doing a lot. All attack cooldown, minus 24%. Yes. Yes, I need more damage output. My evaporator I don't think will change, but the rockets and my main weapon will. Rocket damage doubled. Yeah, that's a big one, actually, because now the rocket should be hitting for 1,000. And that's going to help thin them out. Okay, this isn't good. Evaporator, go to work. <laughs> okay, that was scary. That probably would have killed me legitimately in one second once everything starts actually touching me. Okay, we're going to take plus one rocket at this point. That way uh, we need that extra damage, that AoE especially. And then we're going to walk in big old circles, pick you up the big old experience. Well, at least these basic idiots shouldn't be able to get close to me. Some of the stronger ones, sure. But we'll worry about them when we get there. Give me the magnet. Give me everything. Adds area size, adds damage. Look how big it is. Missiles doubled. Yes. I forgot about my Type B drone because I was waiting for a Type A drone to also come and help me. Zombies incoming. Perfect. That sounds like the experience we need. I'm just going to sit right here and let them bring themselves to me. 
So far it's just a bunch of butterflies very slowly coming to get me. So I'm going to start to pick up their loot. You can see how big my uh, magnet range is. Uh, adds plus one top. That's one more swirly thing that's going to help protect me from projectiles. But I haven't really seen a lot of projectiles so far. Maybe it's more so a boss thing. There's a magnet I want to pick up for sure because that's going to bring everything in. And that's just peace of mind to know I'm not leaving experience behind. Look at that guy. And my rocket gets upgraded. Adds more rocket damage, which is very important. And we're going to walk over here and evaporate them. We don't want to get too close. We can still touch them. They don't evaporate that quickly. Max HP. We don't want that. We want high-powered bullets. Another 10% attack damage. Oh, and that bomb, apparently. Yeah, nothing to see here, folks. Just walk into the green light and embrace your death. Time for the boss assault. Now, where are they? Oh, we're in a little... Okay. Oh, what is that thing? Uh, we're fighting a plum. A flying plum. Who's getting really messed up really quickly. That was easy. And that gave us missiles doubled, attack cooldown another 8%, attack plus 50% in total. And apparently we have enough for another level up already, so all attacks, cooldown, plus 40%. So now we're rapid firing, and we really didn't need to be rapid firing at this point. Slugs, interesting. Okay, they evaporate very quickly, so I'm not very worried about them. They're probably supposed to be really tough, and just kind of slowly plod toward you, but we melt them. My items are full, skills are not, so we're going to take add plus one top. Now we have four whirling discs of doom. It's really satisfying melting these. Oh, I actually touched the slugs that time. I do need to be a little bit careful then. They can get to me. There's the 11 minute mark. What do they got for us here? Uh, plus one top. We're gonna have the super force field. Enemies have to get through the spinning tops and the laser zone. Oh, look at a butterfly boss. Oh, wow. It's actually getting really close. It's like that old saying goes. Never underestimate a butterfly. Plus one rockets. Yeah, so far this feels right. Still not quite enough damage, even with the 50% boost actually from where we started. There we go, shark maw gun. Death and destruction. My favorite kind of destruction. And that's actually firing off pretty quickly. So that's going to be just fine for us. Look at it go. Now we just need the rest of the evolutions to come out and play. It looks like the lucky train is rolling and we got what you see here. Okay, one of those is uh, the super lightning evolution, thundering destruction. All right, so now when my thunder strikes down, it looks like a complete disaster. It's like a giant nuclear strike. Everything's just getting completely destroyed by it. Uh, oh, the energy drink combines with my force field. We'll take that. And that's also going to help keep me alive because restoring one HP a second is uh, actually kind of necessary at this point. I like how my whirling discs don't stop anymore. They just continuously spin. They don't phase in and out. This is my domain. Force barrier. Yeah, it is. Now things, uh, yeah, they <laughs> don't get close to me anymore. And we'll just cut our way through them. Well, now we have red death discs on top of the orange glow, so we can absolutely do this buzzsaw through these idiots at least. I'm actually going to give myself a little more HP restoration, ju <laughs> just in case. The slugs are getting stronger and they're getting closer. So let's add weapon range an extra 10%. That should make my glowy thing even further out so the slugs will start taking damage sooner. Uh, and weapon range one more time. That should be pretty good there. Okay, we're going to slowly walk out there and evaporate. Uh, let's go uh, restore more HP. We're going to get all these upgrades pretty soon anyway. I'm pretty sure we're not going to miss out on any. Mm, yeah, we can't just charge around recklessly. We can charge around semi-recklessly. Okay, I'm going to add more damage to my Type B drone. Uh, I'm going to pick up that Magnet too if I can. And that should hopefully level me up again. 5 HP per second or whatever that said. More HP regeneration. Look at the enemies. It's just a constant wave of them now. If I wasn't ridiculously damaging right now, they would overwhelm me in an instant. Luckily, I also have magnet power too, so I can suck this stuff up from further away. I don't need to walk into the horde of idiots yet. And for the loot range again. They just keep spinning and hoovering. Coming up in the 15 minute mark, we're going to take more HP regeneration. I want to hold still for a second. That way, the, at least the purple goo is far enough away. It won't be a factor in the boss fight too much. Oh, they all disintegrate anyway. Look at that thing. Oh, he's pretty strong, actually. That's okay, we're hitting him with every- oh! I should have taken that more seriously, he killed me. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and finish him off then. We'll pretend that didn't happen, one little bit, and we win. That was actually 20,000 enemies that we killed. 20,000. Now that's gonna give us a chance to level some stuff up, including my super rare legendary whatever this thing is. Level it up. And also my purple boots. Since the boss did technically defeat us, we need some stronger stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and open some supply crates. The first of which gave us what you see before you. But I think that actually means then if we give those two, we can merge them all and make an even better level three of my original one. Which I don't know is a great idea, but we got eternal necklace now. Well, yeah, that makes a pretty big difference, so I'm okay with that. I realize we're maybe gonna need to open one more gem back. And then one more after that. And for doing that, we did get an S tier gloves. 
Because we didn't even have purple gloves before, let alone these things. Destructive nature, insta kills non bosses below 20 HP. 20%, that's crazy. Uh, and we can also uh, swap that out for one of these. Gain shield that blocks one damage every 200 monsters killed. Wow, that's actually really good too. All right, so let's take our newfound damage and upgrades to the next level. And this one's obviously going to be harder because they're now shooting projectiles at me, so I definitely want projectile defense because this is going to get super annoying. Uh, plus, this level seems to be a lot smaller. Uh, force field for sure. That's going to help just, you know, it's so small when you first start. Okay, if we take out the flower guys, then we don't have to deal with projectiles. We'll just do that. Uh, we're definitely going to get restoring HP because that also just uh, combines with my force field to make it a eventual super force field. And that's the kind of thing I like. Does the force field dissolve projectiles? I hope it does. Okay, I'm also going to buy the type A drone that hopefully comes with type B drone. I ate that projectile intentionally to see if I could block it. Uh, I don't know if I blocked it or took damage. I think I'm missing a slight bit of health. It's hard to say. So the projectiles at least don't do a lot of damage yet. It has only been one. Oh, good, they get bigger. Well, okay, my force still got the better of him. I forgot I do extra damage to bosses now. Can I have three of these? Or all of them? I'm not sure what's happening. It seems like a celebration. Five? Six? Do I get five? I'll take five upgrades. There we go. We got five upgrades. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. There's everything. Lots of damage. Damage doubled. Missile doubled. Adds damage to my regular weapon. Yep, that's going to put us ahead of the curve for a little bit. Uh, the plants are firing bigger but less projectiles now, and I'm actually okay with that. I just want less stuff to have to avoid because that annoys me. Speaking of which, summon two tops that um, they're going to stop things from hitting me. And eventually they're really going to do a lot of work on that regard. Okay, I'm going to add some area size and damage to my evaporator because that just means I can be extra lazy. Plus it just really is a lot of damage. I can just walk through these guys without any care at all in the world. Mm, the bullet speed plate could go with the drill. I'm not really sure what the drill does, but for now I'm mostly going to settle for these because then I don't have to worry as much about getting hit by stupid things. Incoming boss fight and he's dead. Wow, that was quick. That extra damage to bosses really makes a difference. And we get plus one top, add spin and damage. Uh, so now there's a lot of those. Type B drone. We're just going up here damage regardless, no matter what we have. Just damage and more damage. The slugs are definitely getting a little bit uh, damagier. Uh, we're just going to add damage to my uh, main weapon. And we're going to take additional force field size and damage. Because the slugs are going to get annoying if there's enough of them. Okay, next I'm going to get some HP restoration. Uh, you know, that just helps me be a little bit lazier. Because I don't want to think, I just want to sit here and watch things melt. Oh, this is actually, the XP gain involves my main weapon, which is very strong. I probably should have done that last time. That's going to be good for bosses too, because it's going to focus right on them and melt them. It's hard to see my main weapon, like how much it actually does, because it tends to blend in behind everything else. But I'm pretty sure it's pretty ridiculous. Like here's a mini boss, we're hitting it for 3000 because of the extra damage boost. The extra experience will help us level up that much quicker anyway. In and out like a ghost. Spirit Shuriken. Oh yeah, now it just fires through everything. With crazy damage. It's doing 3000 damage to everything. Do we take XP gain? Yeah, we want XP gain. The more that we get, the quicker the rest of the levels come up. Uh, bigger force field. All attacks cooldown. There, we're going to do that much more damage. Type A drone. Yes. Uh, we'll take the spinning tops at this point. It's just nice to have them out there blocking those projectiles and spinning tops again. Now I think they're pretty much permanently there. Uh, the attack, nope, they're not always there. But once you get the attack cooldown low enough, they should hang out for a long time. Uh, I'm also going to uh, increase my evaporator again. It just feels comforting having this out there. And it's fun. Force barrier. This is my domain. Get out of it. I will melt you all in an instant. Oh, right in time for the boss assault. This should be fun. Oh, it doesn't actually... Oh, it does target him specifically. Wow, that was quick. And I get three items for that. It's going to stop on one, then go back two, then give me all of it. Nope, it's going to keep rotating. I lied. There's extra cooldown, there's life regen, and more life regen. I still need a few skills. I don't really want movement speed, though. All ammo and weapon range, plus 10%. That applies to my evaporator. And we'll also take the... Well, we'll take damage received less, I guess. I don't need extra range here because everything is really close anyway. Uh, all attack cooldown minus 24%. Ooh, fire beetles. I don't think they're going to make it through my evaporator, so I'm really happy I took what I did so far. But we are also only at the four minute mark, so things are going to get pretty wild pretty quickly. I feel like I made accidentally pretty good choices for this, though. All ammo and weapon range plus 20%. I kind of want... well, yeah, we'll keep going with that. My uh, evaporator's already taking up like one-eighth of the entire level, so it's not going to hurt to have more. We're going to take more experience gain, because we are actually leveling up stupidly quick. I didn't really realize. All attacks cool down even quicker now, so they're going off very often. Often. All ammo and weapon range plus 30%. So the evaporator is definitely killing a lot of different things. Everything's killing a lot. Look how big my spinning discs are. You were the five minute boss? That's a joke. What's not a joke is going to be my upgrade. Attack cooldown, 
another 8%. It genuinely feels really weird to go through an entire minute without picking up any experience. We're gonna grab it now before the boss shows up a little bit. Attack plus 10%. Uh, then attack plus 20% because we're swimming in experience currently. And there's the boss who's kind of dying all I'm on weapon range bigger. And yep, he's I think about dead. We'll damage 20% less. He's dead. It's going to blow up. Attack plus 30%. And a uh, bigger weapon range. There we go. Look at all that orange glowing goodness. Attack plus 40%. Mm, let's uh, attack uh, one more lightning bolt. And wow, these just don't stop. Attack... Uh, 32% experience and we <laughs> just go evaporate everything. I think there's a chest there somewhere. And that gave us our final uh, red bolt to give us more HP regeneration. Not that we need it. We got another boss assault already at the 7 minute mark. What do we got? We're going to try and stay a little bit distant from him. Because wow, he's actually quite strong. Considering how much damage we're doing to him. Okay, we're going to uh, reduce our damage received. And he's dead. Everything's getting pretty well maxed out. So we're going to take a top level lightning upgrade. I think he's dead dead. No, we get thundering destruction. That's fine though. Oh, there's two chests on the ground. That's great. This one's kind enough to give me three upgrades. And the other chest, plus the magnet, is going to give me some levels up. And well, there's only a few things on the board anyway. So we got the type A drone. More damage. And uh, attack plus 50%. That should about see us through the rest of uh, life entirely. Uh, it looks like we have the exploding plums trying to get us again. But good luck getting through my stuff. Raging bull. All right. Well, that sounds like a charging type enemy. So we're going to do our best to stay away. And he's dead. Oh, that was actually it. That was a short level. We didn't even have a lot of ultimate evolutions there. We're just really, really, really strong. 